More Wumpa League leaks and rumors are pouring out, and the floodgates have seemingly opened. Today, I'm going to be going over some of these hints and rumors, specifically the gameplay and character roster, giving you my best guess as to how it all fits. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here and back with another Wumpa League video. So, the leaky speculation gates have been blown right open as a new source has come forward with new information about the long-awaited Wumpa League, a game that I started talking about all the way back in January 2021. It has been a long road of speculation, hints, leaks, and, well, questions. It's been filled with naysayers, negativity, and of course, disappointment. But now, with the help of Jez Corden, a senior editor at a reputable news site, Windows Central, and a new friend of the channel, we can finally start assembling the pieces together to solve the burning question people have been asking. What is Wumpa League? Let's start with what we know. It all started when Jez let it slip on a podcast that there was a new Crash Bandicoot title in development. I'm not going to show the full clip in context, but the parts that you need to hear. If you want to hear the full clip's context, you can check out my previous video. Here is the edited clip. I think we could see a new Crash Bandicoot, and not only is it going to be a new Crash Bandicoot, it's going to be a multiplayer Crash Bandicoot. Crazy, right? I know what it's called, but I've forgotten. But it's it's like a it's like a four-player brawler almost, but Crash oriented. So based off of what Jez says here, we can determine the following. There is a new Crash game in development, Toys for Bob is developing it, it is multiplayer focused, and is a four player brawler. However, Jez released a follow up to these statements in one of his articles talking about it possibly being showing off during the events of Summer Game Fest in June, saying that it's a quote unquote unique team based 3D platform competitive brawler. So, taking what Jez said on the podcast and this article, this is what I think the gameplay will be like. I think Wumpa League will be some sort of a 4v4 team-based competitive third-person brawler with a large heaping amount of platforming. The closest thing I could compare that to would be... well, nothing. But there are three games that come to mind, kind of. Crash Bandicoot, of course. Overwatch, without, you know, the guns and Super Smash Brothers, or perhaps even Street Fighter. Now, I did look for something, anything, that resembles a game like what I just described, and the only thing that I could find was this title called Bleeding Edge, which is a 4v4 competitive third-person brawler. But again, this idea that we are hearing sounds very, very unique in terms of genre. So I feel like this would be a loose interpretation of what it could look like, Again, it seems very unique. So now that we kind of have a ballpark reined in idea as to what this game will be like, let's talk about the characters. Who could we see in this roster? Well, Jez actually went out of his way to say on Twitter that there are currently 10 playable characters in testing. Now there's a bit more to that statement that I'm gonna talk about later, but right now, in whatever way Jez is discovering this, there are 10 characters playable at the moment that can be confirmed. So, who could they be? Well, I think we can assume a large portion of them. I don't think it's a large speculative stretch to say that all the playable characters in Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time would basically be confirmed. So, Crash Bandicoot, Coco Bandicoot, Dr. Neo Cortex, Tana, and Dingo Dial. I think these five are all shoe-ins for that roster. But what about the other five? Well, we can take a look at all of the bosses that we faced in Crash Bandicoot 4. The first boss, being Engine, who is also a fan favorite, would totally make sense. Then, you could throw in a later boss, Embryo, who honestly could have a kit and abilities that are surrounded by him consuming his potions and having different mutations. Not to mention, these two characters have been around since the original Crash Bandicoot trilogies, and were even featured in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, so it would make sense to have them both join the roster. But, what about the new boss, Luis? Uh, well, I think we can pass on her, cause, 
I don't see how we could play as a giant seabound kraken that literally has zero character. Maybe she could be some sort of a stage hazard, but as a playable character, nah. But now we encounter a little bit of a snag. Entropy seems like a shoe in but he is a tricky one. In Crash Bandicoot 4, there are two versions of them, the original Entropy and the alternate reality female Entropy, who I will be referring to as Femtropy for the rest of the video. Here's the thing, there are 10 spots confirmed right now, and they are literally the same character with the same concepts just from different dimensions. It really wouldn't make sense to have both of them take a character slot, but I had an idea. What if the Entropies worked like Echo Fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? They would have the exact same abilities, but allow you to choose which version you want to play, whether you want to play as the original Time Master or as Feminine Counterpart. So, so far we have 8 character slots filled, with one of these slots being some variation of an Echo Fighter. That leaves 2 slots remaining. Who could they possibly be? Well, fear not, Jez is here to help us sort that out. Remember that previous tweet that I showed you? Want to know the context to it? A Twitter user by the name of Misery's Tea Party asked Jez, quote, Jez, do you know if Ripper Roo, blue kangaroo in a straight jacket, is still in the game? And Jez responded with, yep, he's in. Yes, Ripper Roo fans, Ripper Roo, according to Jez, will be playable in Wumpa League. This actually makes a lot of sense, since in Crash Bandicoot 4, he was found randomly on the level offbeat in just one random spot close to the end, and was confirmed by Paul Yan that he originally was supposed to be some kind of a pseudo boss in the level Run It By You, but he was not really a boss as you actually never fought him, and all he originally did was detonate TNT crates. So they decided to cut him from the level. The reason that they also kept him in the game and in the game files was because he is going to be a character in, well, Wumpa League. This also validates my previous statements that the random merch drop that we got earlier this year, which featured Ripperoo as a standalone piece of merch, but was branded as Crash Bandicoot 4 merch, didn't really make sense. He was literally a tiny cameo in one tiny spot in the level. In fact, a lot of people missed him on their first playthrough of that said level. So why would they sell a $30 figure of a character that has no relevance to the game that he's branded with? Simple, cause he's in Wumpa League. So now we have 9 spots filled. Who could fill the last spot? Who could be the final fighter? Well, ladies and gents, this one is interesting, cause we actually talked about this character before. At the end of the game, there was a secret character that showed up in the concept art that never ever showed up in the game. In fact, he has never been in any Crash game. That character I'm talking about is Catbat. Now, it's funny because in the same image, we can see banners with a giant W on them, likely being early iterations of the Wumpa League flag, which is funny because this is the only time that these banners show up in the entire game. Is it a sheer coincidence that this is the only time that Catbat shows up? Probably not. So, because of that, along with other assortments of hints, I think that Catbat will be the final character in this 10 player slot. Also, Jez, who actually is unfamiliar with the Crash Bandicoot franchise, asked a Twitter user in reference to an old potential roster list. Where's the bat though? If he is unfamiliar with the Crash Bandicoot franchise, but is asking about a bat character that only shows up briefly in only one piece of concept art, that also is the only piece of art that directly references Wumpa League, and he is confirming Ripper being on the roster, it implies that there would be a bat character in the 10 player slot list that he is claiming that he has seen. And Cat Bat is the only bat character in the Crash Bandicoot franchise. So that means we have our 10 potential characters. Crash Bandicoot, Coco Bandicoot, Dr. Neo Cortex, Tana, Dingo Dial, Dr. Engine, Dr. Embryo, Entropy and Fentropy, Ripper and Cat Bat. Now, I am not saying this is 100% confirmed. I'm saying based on what Jez has said and based upon my own assumptions and guesses, this would be the initial roster that we might see. But wait, there's more. Jez said that there were 10 characters in testing. Now those few words are key. 
in my mind, when someone says in testing, that means that these are the 10 characters that are being used while testing the game out. But if we look back to the post on Windows Central, he also said the game features characters from across the Crash Bandicoot universe. To me, that sounds like there are potentially more characters that could make the initial list. In that same concept art with Catbat and the assumed early Wumpa League logo, we see a fan favorite character, Nina Cortex, who again, never showed up in Crash Bandicoot 4. We also see Nitrous Oxide show up in both the internal files and as a cameo in Stowing Away. He also shows up in the same line of artwork at the end of the game like Catbat and Nina Cortex. Other potential characters that show up in the game as references or easter eggs could be featured. We see Crunch's name in the magnets in Rude Awakening and a preview of his face on one of the TVs in the back of the flashback levels. We potentially could see a new take on Pura as we saw him in the back of Offbeat and maybe even Polar. The best part is, these characters don't even need to be on the initial roster. More and more characters could be introduced later on, like how the Grand Prix worked in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Speaking of more characters introduced, we potentially could see other characters from other Activision franchises make their way into Wumpa League, as Crash 4 has multiple references to different franchises, like Eruptor from the Skylander series, and yes, multiple large references to Spyro the Dragon will likely be the most requested character to join Wumpa League. And here's a really cool aspect. If they are bringing Catbat into the game, it's possible we could see brand new, never before seen characters that could be featured in new, brand new titles for Crash's future. All in all, I am so excited for new content, but I am even more excited on the potential of this game. The characters that could be introduced, the unique gameplay that we could see, it all sounds like a Crash Bandicoot dream come true. And I cannot wait to see this game when it's revealed, whenever that is.